today's world, people often think that believing must require seeing. But as Christians, we know that God himself often transcends even our highest thoughts and experiences. It requires faith and trust in God's revealed word, not faith in our own flawed human senses. In this week's Walk Talk series, Eric Hansen calls our attention to the incredible privilege we have to trust Christ in faith without sight. Good morning, afternoon, or whenever you are listening to this podcast. My name is Eric Hansen. I'm the project manager here at Southland, and I hope you're doing well, and that this short devotional time can be an encouragement to you. This is our final day together, talking about having faith without sight. We've already talked about the disciples twice and their fishing escapades. And then yesterday we talked about the centurion and his amazing faith that Jesus had seen none other faith like this in all of Israel, that he would ask Jesus to come and heal his servant without ever seeing him, talking to him. He just believed. Well, this morning I want to talk to you about Luke 8, verses 41 through 48. We'll go ahead and start reading. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had only one daughter, about 12 years of age, and she lay a dying. But as he went, the people thronged him, and a woman, and a woman, having an issue of blood twelve years, which had spent all of her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood staunched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throngs thee. And press thee, and thou sayest, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down before Jesus, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. This is an amazing, amazing account of Jesus' miracles. Because this is not the norm. Um, normally, Jesus heals some, someone doing it as a sign that he is the Messiah. And it's accompanied by him preaching or teaching. And either the miracle is at the beginning or at the end. This is not one of those times. They're traveling down the road to heal another girl that had been very sick and lay dying in her father's house. That's Jairus' daughter. He isn't preaching. He isn't teaching. At that moment, he's just trying to shuffle through the huge crowd. This is on a completely unrelated note. But have you ever thought of the patience that Jesus had and how much love for us that he shows that he didn't get aggravated with the mob of people that followed him? All the time. They didn't all believe. And many of them just wanted to watch him do something, according to John six twenty five or 27, or do something for them, or do a miracle for them to watch. Total side note. But back to the case at hand. On the way there, there's a woman that had an issue of blood. This issue of blood is an odd ailment because most commentaries, or even if you read it in other versions, it refers to a constant bleeding for the last 12 years. And she had faith that she could just touch the edge of his cloak and she would be healed. We all know the story. She touches it. Jesus stops and says, who touched me? Typical Peter opens his mouth and tells Jesus, everyone has been touching him and jostling and touching him the whole way there. But Jesus says, I know someone touched me and I felt virtue go out of me. And the woman steps forward and tells him of her blind faith that he wouldn't have to speak to her. He wouldn't have to do anything. She just had to touch his clothing and that she would be healed. He commends her, says, 
Go in peace and be on your way. This is, I, I know there are more instances in the Bible of blind faith, but these are four today that I really wanted to highlight that faith without sight gives all of the glory to God. When we understand something, it doesn't give all of the glory to God. But when we believe and have faith in a God that we don't understand and don't understand all of his ways because they are so past our working out in our finite minds, God does work all those things out for good for them that love him and live according to his purpose. When the only response is, is to say, praise God for his goodness and to give him glory to the praise of his glorious grace. I hope this can be an encouragement to you to have that faith that we can honor and glorify God. Talks today by listening and subscribing to our podcast. Follow us on social media for sneak peeks at future episodes and to share your favorites with others who would benefit as well. We hope your heart has been enriched by God's word to take your next step in following Christ.